this is me hello I'm wearing my mask <laughs> I'm just being creative of um, what mask to wear but anyway uh, this is me <laughs> now today I was waiting for my son in the parking lot in uh, the commissary while he's doing uh, grocery shopping because we ran out of food in the house now I have taken time to reflect on Jesus sacrifice Saturday today was the day where the disciples of Jesus were into hiding and feeling hopeless now, I put myself in the disciples shoes and wonder how did they feel on that Saturday Jesus who they had dropped everything to follow put their faith in and risk their own lives is now gone now, can you imagine the hopelessness yet the story does not end there because Jesus rose triumphantly on Sunday brothers as you all know there are a lot of religions and theological debates to who is right or wrong in their interpretation of the Bible many talk about subjects like fear end times and other topics that preachers think are apt in the present time to what to defend their their own theological practices and religions I believe this is not the time for doctrines and religion Let's look at what is truly relevant and address what is in front of us. Going back to my point, brothers and sisters, we can respond like Jesus' disciples. Like us, they were fearful. Fear can replace faith, and that's a reality. Several times during Jesus' ministry, the disciples were deeply terrified. When fear comes, faith is removed. Look at what's going on now. We are living in a world with so much to cause fear. Fear of COVID-19, which claimed a lot of lives already. Fear of war, which is now brewing in the waters of South China Sea. Fear of losing jobs, which a lot of us or a lot of our friends and members of our churches are out of work now. Fear that can immobilize us as it did Jesus' disciples. Now listen to this, my friends. When fear knocks, we must send faith to answer the door. When the unexpected comes in our lives, let faith work. Now the good news is, Jesus hear their cries for help. Jesus did sprung up into action. The sovereign savior is looking for us to look at him because he is alive. He has resurrected. Imagine that. Hearing the good news that Jesus rose from the dead. Can you imagine that? Imagine the disciples' shock and excitement that everyone who heard the good news must have felt during that time. Now, brothers and sisters, my question is, do you remember the first time you heard the good news that Jesus had died for you and he rose again for those who have not experienced that feeling reflect on the event we commemorate today Jesus has died for you and me for us to have life and to prove that he rose up from the dead brothers I strongly believe it's not religion that saves man. The Apostle Paul says in Romans 10, 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. There is no complicated formula to salvation. 
Jesus paid the price for our sins. The very reason why he died on the cross. Reflect on that. Our response is to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If we do, we will be saved from eternal death in hell to eternal life in heaven. Religion cannot save us. It is only through praying directly to God and acknowledging that Jesus is the way, the only way to Him. That is my reflection for today, my, my friends. I rarely do videos um, about my reflection. I, I usually write it and uh, just post it, but I just felt that I need to show myself to you guys and, and tell you this reflections that may help you reflect too. And I hope you guys have a great day. And um, tomorrow is the Resurrection Sunday. And I hope you guys would follow uh, the Lord's leading um, on how to celebrate his resurrection all right um we have actually a, a service tomorrow and pastor rico will be preaching uh, online in our virtual service so please follow uh, the way the truth and the life um, uh, page so you could um, like it so you could watch the the, the the service tomorrow and i'll see you there all right and i have friends in the united for the harvest too we have a lot of pastors there and um, they have all their uh, services online too you can you can watch their services so we have a lot of resources we have a lot of churches going on tomorrow online so please reflect what we need now is only jesus amen have a great day peace